Hello, I'm Marcus Rodriguez and today we're looking into Tecla Structures 2024. Uh, this presentation is divided into four teams. Um, Tecla should be easy to use and easy to learn. We should be able to collaborate with ease. Uh, we should deliver with confidence and it should be locally relevant. In version 2024, the software continues to become easier and more consistent for the pleasure of the new and experienced users. So we have some news when you open Tecla 2024 and um, you have some, some startup help. The new uh, view rotation icon unifies the navigation experience across multiple Trimble products, as well as provides a more intuitive way of navigating in the model. Let's have a look. And another example. We also have a new snapping functionality. Uh, it's called snap to parallel points. Um, it's uh, found in uh, the snapping uh, uh, line. And let's, let's see how it works. can be used for placing and it can be used for cutting. We have intuitive bolt creation, uh, a new way of uh, setting out bolts uh, without doing too much undos. Uh, we strive to uh, set the bolts uh, out uh, the, with the first try. Uh, everyone working with bolts knows that's not easy, but uh, with this tool, it's, uh, it's possible. Let's have a look how it looks. We can see now the preview of the bolts. And if you want to flip them, you now have a button to flip the bolts. You can flip the bolts in the preview or after the creation. Here is another example. And the third example. Great. We have uh, the property pane um, and it's uh, now also uh, possible to use a clipboard uh, to um, copy and paste uh, when editing. Um, I will uh, show how it works. So you have a command to to um, copy and paste, or you have a bottom, you have a selection filter and you select. And now this uh, is um, added to the clipboard.
So shift plus C to copy and paste is shift plus V. Now you have all the settings and can apply them and paste them. Um, now all drawing objects are supported in the drawing property pane. Uh, before it uh, was uh, in different property panes, but now they're all come together. Great, let's move to software administration. Um, you might have uh, seen the computer clock um, and uh, now um, we have uh, some, um, some new uh, feedback um, with the, the error message that informs what you should do and also link you to the updated support article. We are... Um, uh, also having uh, changes in the .NET framework. Um, .NET uh, standard new gets are available. .NET core extensions do not work with Tecla structures yet. Um, yes, so with um, Tecla structures 2024 we um, um, we hope uh, or we will ask you all to test your uh, extens extensions. Collaboration is the key uh, to success. Um, and uh, yeah, we are going to look into the drawings now. Uh, for many uh, customers, um, it's about the quality of the BIM models, but it's also for many how to deliver drawings too. So here are some drawing improvements. Now you can use Tecla structures to create drawings like these. Uh, they look quite nice, they look very good. And uh, you can see how you can apply the colors from a table. Quite easy to modify. And it's good for um, interpretation of, of the drawings. Uh, we also have some changes into the drawing text. Um, we know that some are preferred, preferred with something called cap heights uh, and Tecla now supports the same. Um, for some places it, it is a requirement. So with this uh, we uh, think that the text will look uh, more, uh, more clean and, uh, and the drawings uh, will in general looks, uh, look uh, much better. We have a new DGN export for drawings. Um, I recommend those who are using the D DGN export for drawings uh, to test it out. We also have uh, export to uh, 3D PDF integrated now to Tecla structures. Um, so it's a good way to share your models, to, to print or export a 3D PDF. But of course we also uh, recommend to collaborate to, through Trimble Connect. So now we are going into improved connected construction workflows. We have uh, a new uh, improved uh, format compression. It's uh, the TZF format. It's generated by uh, the scanner Trimble X9. And um, it uh, makes the, the point cloud uh, smaller and also easier to uh, insert into Tecla structures. In building point, we also have 
the scanners and we also have a scanner sharing program which is available available for our customers we have improved layout manager workflow for feeling also and uh, the layout manager is about uh, making design point points into Tecla and also control points from uh, the real world and manage them together. We have improved uh, detail level uh, in Trimble Connect so we can now um, add more details like slotted holes uh, into uh, Trimble Connect. Uh, we also have different surface treatment supported and we also can um, extract uh, the exact profile uh, shapes. We have a totally renewed IFC property set exports and from now on uh, defining IFC property sets uh, will be done in the new uh, uh, window where you can select and uh, and, and choose uh, the IFC uh, sets that you want. Um, we also have emphasized on uh, building smart property sets, which now is uh, in uh, Tecla structures uh, by default. We can have a look how you can just select the IFC uh, P sets and uh, And export. You also find uh, new uh, information in the export that have previously been hard coded and not av available for the exports. Perfect. We also um, now um, support with the Trimble Connect the BZF format, which is BIM collaboration format, and it's an open industry standard. And uh, by um, um, Having this into Trimble Connect, we can now uh, collaborate with other uh, industry tools and uh, it's pretty much used to, uh, to sending messages about status, priority, uh, who is doing what and so on. Uh, and this is uh, entirely replacing to-dos. It's mentioned also that uh, it's um, um, widely, wi widely used in, in Solibri, for example. Um, it is uh, a building smart uh, standard, so uh, um, we hope that uh, others also will uh, may their, make their tools available for collaboration with this format and to talk uh, um, on this format between different uh, software. It is quite interesting. We also have added the, the BCF topics in uh, PowerFab um, and that's, uh, that's, that will be very interesting how we can now work in and collaborate in, in new ways. We also have a change in license system. Um, before um, 
we had uh, a standard license um, without um, Tecla model sharing and we also have a Trimble Connect business only. Um, now we have a new uh, license type which include that. So um, for the new uh, customers, uh, the new license is the only option. For those who already have a standard license, uh, a flex or a worldwide, they are um, um, able to, to continue to, to have that and also to purchase more. But um, it's, um, it's good to know that uh, if we, with a new license, uh, know that other one is working with Tecla, then you can be sure that they have model sharing and they have the ability to, to share models. And uh, then you can connect with their models and, and work together. For uh, Trimble Connect Business Premium, you can see that uh, you have some uh, um, premium uh, um, features like uh, uh, organizer and status sharing. Uh, to, to improve the collaboration between uh, the office and field. Uh, you also have uh, the property sets um, as uh, an addition. Okay, so uh, improved workflow flows with the design. We see um, that uh, we have uh, uh, an improvement uh, towards uh, Autodesk robot. Uh, we have uh, improvements with Bentley Stud Pro and um, it's uh, based on uh, user program feedback. So uh, if you are using uh, the link uh, for these uh, products, then we um, really recommend you to, uh, to take advantage of, uh, of this in Tecla Structures 2024. We have uh, an improved link also uh, to Idea Statica connection design. Um, the link uh, is uh, improved by uh, applying the, the checkbot. Um, and now you can do uh, multiple uh, connection uh, together uh, in, in the same operation. And uh, it's also exemplified here. Um, we can see uh, how uh, IDEA runs into Tecla and it opens. Project detail, detail, details are, are set. And uh, when we before were used to uh, taking the connection and consider them one by one, we can now import them into a bulk and it's up to 400 connection at the same time. You can still do it one by one. And um, yeah, this is uh, a huge, huge improvement from, from what we hear. Let's take time to see the calculation also. Yeah. Review the results and take a look at the report. And Perfect. Yeah, it requires that the Tecla and IDEA um, Statica is installed and licensed on, on the same machine. But uh, beside of that, uh, it will run quite well into Tecla structures. Let's go into uh, deliver with uh, confidence and the modeling improvements. We have had some uh, um, incorrect weights uh, in the lofted plates, the bent uh, plates, and it is uh, now uh, solved. 
It has been in total um, six fixes uh, to, to make this uh, um, work with the correct weight. It has been done uh, improvements in the steel system components and uh, we can see that uh, uh, there are uh, different updates in, uh, in, in each of them. So it's worth uh, exploring that. We have uh, uh, framing tools uh, also now with uh, insulation and cladding. Framing tools is uh, yeah, uh, working like this. Uh, and now with the cladding and added layers, you can uh, make the, the cladding or or the inner, inner walls, uh, indoor walls, uh, easy with the, the custom component. And you can of course uh, define material and, and everything. And add as many layers as you want. Perfect. Let's uh, move over to uh, to the rebars. Um, it's uh, kind of a new uh, um, method of uh, generating rebars, and um, uh, now we see that uh, it's uh, it's uh, getting through some of the harder hurdles. So we are going to look at, uh, at two examples. Uh, it's mainly to, uh, to improve uh, sloping slabs, ramps, and perhaps like stairs, uh, and also in infrastructures with bridges, tunnels, and, uh, and yeah, things that is not uh, vertical or horizontal only. So let's have a look. Um, by um, by uh, with the new um, way of of uh, uh, of adding the rebars or in the improved rebar sets, we have now a smoothing sm smoothing factor, and we can insert it to uh, overcome many of the hurdles that we had before, and uh, the zigzag uh, uh, bars is disappearing. So um, here is an example and we now see with the smoothing factors, uh, yeah, the ir irregularities uh, is uh, um, um, overcome and it's become like nice sloped and curved uh, rebars. Um, Let's look at the, the video. So this is uh, a ramp and we have some troubles with the rebar, but we are applying a smoothing factor. This is uh, another example of some difficult geometry. And by opening um, the menu and add the smoothing factor, then we see that uh, uh, the rebar is uh, placed correctly and displayed correctly. So um, this is of course um, um, also uh, um, opening up for not uh, bending uh, or uh, like uh, to bend all uh, curved uh, uh, rebars. Uh, <clears throat> now, uh, when uh, rebars are sloped, they need to uh, kind of still be recognized as a straight bar. So this is now an, an option. So uh, you can now uh, uh, specify to to have uh, the rebar. Uh, recognized as a straight uh, bar. 
so uh, it makes sense. Um, so now you uh, can keep the straight uh, bars and and the bent uh, separately and, um, and and not mixed. So it helps with the the way you want to fabricate and and export. So for example, in um, in um, a curved uh, area, uh, sloping drainage slab, for example, uh, we might detail uh, them sloped, but uh, we might also want to recognize uh, the bars as uh, straight. So uh, with that, they will uh, be exported uh, in the list as straight bars and also numbered as uh, straight bar. Good, we have uh, some also uh, improvements with uh, the rebar couplers and we also have improvements with the anchor tools. So uh, we need to adjust some uh, advanced options, but uh, um, yeah, then uh, you, you can add the, the coupler and the anchors in the rebar sets. Also for uh, spiral rebars, we now can uh, uh, count the number of rounds uh, accurately and also calculate the length uh, correctly. So uh, that's that's an improvement um, and you can also see uh, in in the inquire objects that you can actually see it as a number of rounds and the length should be correct also. We have uh, the bridge creator uh, integrated now into Tecla structures. It was now, it was before a, a tool that you could find on Tecla warehouse, but uh, now it's uh, a part of uh, the download, a part of uh, the, the version. And uh, yeah, you can now uh, design bridges without uh, necessarily uh, downloading um, uh, separately. It has also been improved. Uh, it's uh, improved for the placing of uh, tension uh, cables and also with some uh, uh, geometric uh, variation. And uh, yeah, um, we can <clears throat> have a look at how it looks in uh, in Tecla. So it's quite uh, quite nice. Uh, uh, the bridges uh, is uh, often made from lines. Those lines it could be uh, uh, from uh, Grasshopper or, or other software. Uh, and you just need the construction line or the road uh, center line. <clears throat> And then uh, you start to build with um, uh, the application, the geometry. So um, you need uh, some cross sections and, um, and uh, perhaps some layers of uh, asphalt and edges, uh, edge beams and, and so on. And uh, uh, yeah, you can build it in in the tool uh, step by step. Good. We move over now to outputs, automation and precision. Um, <clears throat> we have improved uh, the rule-based uh, uh, dimensioning a little bit. So um, <clears throat> uh, every bolt uh, group uh, or array is now uh, dimensioned. And um, yeah, it, it, works, it works better now for, for bolt groups. Um, we also have uh, some improvements in uh, dimensioning rebar groups. Uh, also, um, uh, yeah, and you also have some 
some selections where you want to uh, have the dimensions um, and you can see the, the options in, in the box. We have a more reliable um, export of uh, the NC files um, used for plates and, and sometimes also for profiles. Um, we, um, we see that uh, for the profile it's uh, handling better, better the angles and the cuts uh, even more correctly and that's uh, uh, a good improvement for those who are um, fabricating uh, digitally. Yeah, We have some uh, drawing content manager improvements also. Uh, you can um, now control the visibility of uh, sub-assembly and secondary parts via uh, the show sub-assembly uh, second parts uh, uh, fun function and uh, yeah, it gives you a kind of a visibility. We also have some rule-based dimensioning improvements for, for steel uh, and uh, yeah, it was the bolt group, uh, it um, yeah. It uh, should come out more uh, automatically and also uh, measure from uh, something called uh, the midpoint, which uh, for some sections is uh, not a point itself. Uh, so it's it's good to to have that possibility for for Tecla to to find the midpoint and and dimension from that. So you can select. Uh, measure from midpoint. We also have improved uh, cloning um, and uh, I think it will uh, uh, give uh, quite good results uh, when you try it yourself. Um, the, the first cloning will uh, become uh, much uh, better than before and um, yeah it, it should be uh, uh, the dimensioning uh, and uh, the text should uh, apply uh, much better in Tecla Structures 2024. So by cloning we want to uh, obtain uh, as as close uh, result as uh, as possible uh, to um, yeah to not have to uh, dimension it all again and to also uh, insert the text uh, and so on so um, part marks and so on uh, should yeah should be placed uh, more more correct. Perfect. So, good. Um, you might need uh, entitlements for the new version. It has been sent from us um, and uh, it's uh, all about uh, um, yeah, uh, trying and uh, testing and I hope you find uh, um, the changes and improvements uh, valuable. Um, we have also some release links uh, for reading. And uh, finally, let me remind you about uh, Tecla User Day, um, where we are going through uh, more news. Uh, we are having visitors from, uh, from Trimble over to present. Uh, we have uh, customer presentations, we have tips and tricks. Um, yeah, and uh, I hope to see everyone there and we will have a great dinner at the end.